if Uncle Steve Harvey and Uncle Ricky Smiley want to go hard for Kamala Harris, that is their business. If Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey want to go hard for Kamala Harris, they have a right to do that. They have a right to do that. What they don't have a right to do is shame other Africans into voting for her. They cannot do that. that they, they were wrong for that. You can't shame people into not voting for someone who has no record of doing nothing for them. Now that's where they're wrong. That's where they're wrong. You know. Uh, Steve Harvey's logic didn't make any sense. He said, if we don't vote, we won't get nothing. Well, you've been voting and you ain't got nothing. It's time to hold the vote until we get something. It's time to hold the vote until we get something. Ricky Smiley. I love my brother, but he was pretty emotional. He's talking about Supreme Court Justice Katanji swearing in Vice President Harris. They both belong to black Greek fraternities. They'll get sworn in on Dr. King's Earth Day. That's all empty symbolism. We're done with that. That's all empty symbolism. We're done with that. That's all empty symbolism. We're done with that. You have to give us tangibles, not symbols, Brother Ricky Smiley. Tangibles, not symbols. One is an AKA, one is a Delta. What that got to do with miseducation? One is an AKA, one is a Delta. What that got to do with mass incarceration? One is an AKA, one is a Delta. What that got to do with gentrification and homelessness? That is nothing but empty symbolism. The member of one black sorority swearing in the member of another black sorority on the solar return of a brother ancestor, Dr. King, who belonged to a black male fraternity. That's all fine and well. But telling black people they should vote for the symbol. Telling black people they should vote for the symbol. The symbol is not going to serve us, Brother Ricky. We need substance, my brother. We need substance. Mega Evers did not die for Kamala Harris to become president. Stop the cap up. Dr. King did not die for Kamala Harris to become president. Stop the cap up. The purpose behind... Fannie Lou Hamer's Voting Rights Act. The purpose behind the Fannie Lou Hamer Voting Rights Act was for black people to be in a position to use their vote so they could receive tangibles. Voting is not supposed to be a symbol. Voting is supposed to be a transaction, a power transaction. You want my vote? We want your resources. You want my vote? We want the resources. Voting is not supposed to be a ritual. It is not supposed to be a symbol. It is supposed to be a transaction. You want my vote? We want some tangibles. If we can't get no tangibles, you can't get no vote. Steve Harvey said, they can't give us no reparations. What did he say? We're not going to get no reparations if we don't vote. You've been voting Democrat for 93 years, Steve Harvey. Been voting Democrat for 93 years, Steve Harvey. Been voting Democrat for 93 years, Steve Harvey. How many more years you got to vote Democrat to get some reparations? The problem with you black celebrities... The problem with you black celebrities, you are the new black bourgeoisie. You are the new black bourgeoisie. And you are going out of your way to stay relevant with the white power structure by trying to shame black people into voting for people who don't do anything with them. That ended with Barack Obama. That ended with Barack Obama, the new generation of American Africans. These under 30s today, they not like the under 30s of Barack Obama 16 years ago. See, 16 years ago, 
the 30 year olds of today were 15. 16 years ago, the 30 year olds of today were 14. They were babies under Obama. They were babies under Obama. But you fail to realize they grew up on Dr. Umar Ifatunde doctrine. These 30 year olds, they grew up on my messages. They grew up on me. So you can't seduce them with emotions. You can't seduce them with intellectualism. You can't seduce them with symbols and empty promises. They grew up under the prince of Pan-Africanism. They've been watching me and listening to me for 15 years. You can't get over on them like you got over on their parents. You can't get them to the polls on November the 4th with no damn a Delta swearing in an AKA on an Alpha's uh, birthday. That don't mean nothing to us. We respect Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I love my Delta Queens. We respect Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I love my Alpha Queens. We Alpha Phi Alpha Sorority. I love my Alpha Brothers, but that ain't got nothing to do with this. This is not sorority business. This is American African business. I said this is not sorority business. This is American African business. And if Kamala Harris Donald Trump, Jill Stein, Cornell West. If they can't take care of African business, the American African business, don't come to me. Black vote ain't for sale no more. Black vote ain't for sale. We barter in on business. We stand in on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother, that's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. If you want to cry for Kabama Harris, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both. No hate to my big brothers. But if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we? See, I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities Paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not. We not going to get nothing out of the vote. But they being paid. Y'all being bought. They offered me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. I don't want your money. But we can definitely do the interview. They offered me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. King Kong consciousness ain't for sale. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not one of these goofy ass rappers whose whole life is nothing but what you can buy and own. You dealing with real African DNA. This is real ancestral energy over here. I'm not no Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. You don't drop no check off and say get the Negroes to the plantation. Oh yes, brothers and sisters. Costa Rica, y'all better be ready tomorrow night. Limon province, where Marcus Garvey used to live, where Marcus Garvey used to work, where Marcus Garvey edited his newspaper, La Nacion, Costa Rica, Limon province. King Kong is coming in the footsteps of Garvey. All Central American Africans, get your ass to Limon province tomorrow. We're going to organize. We're going to organize my Spanish-speaking African brothers and sisters. I said, we're going to organize my Spanish-speaking African brothers and sisters. Limon, in the footsteps of Garvey. Puerto Viejo, Saturday, in the footsteps of Garvey. Come on, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. Ricky Smiley, let me come on the Ricky Smiley show. Let's talk about election 2024. Let me come on the Steve Harvey show.
Talk to me, Steve. How much did they pay you to push Kamala? The price is right. Steve Harvey, was the price right, my brother? Was the price is right? When the price is right, the Negro Peans will unite. When the price is right, the Negro Peans will unite. When the price is right, the Negro Peans will unite. Talking about Mega Evers died for Kamala Harris to be president. No more empty elections. You got the urn. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Good to see you, King. Tangibles over tokenism. We want tangibles over tokenism. We want tangibles over radio talk. We want tangibles over television talk. We want tangibles over tokens. Tangibles over television. Tangibles over time. No. These 30-year-olds grew up on me. You can't con them the way you con their parents. These 30-year-olds grew up on me. You can't con them the way you con their parents. The Ifa Tunde Army. The Ifa Tunde Army. I think I'ma hold an under 30-year-old march. We gonna have a march. My under 30-year-olds, y'all ready for the, the march? For tangibles. All right, King. We need tangibles, no more talking. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see who they roll out for the Democratic National Convention. I can't wait to see who they roll out for the Democratic National Convention on Monday. I can't wait to see who they roll out in Chicago. We didn't see Megan Thee Stallion. We didn't see my brother Quavo. We didn't see Ricky Smiley crying on the radio, Steve Harvey, with his old strategies for voting. 
who they gonna have speaking for us at the Democratic National Convention? Who's it gonna be? LeBron James, Oprah Winfrey, who are they gonna pull out of their hat at the Democratic National Convention next week? Who are they gonna pull out of their hat next week, family? Who y'all think they're gonna get? I hope my sister Beyonce don't show up for them. Who are they gonna get at the Democratic National Convention? Who y'all think they got in the pipeline? See, they forgot. These young people grew up on Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Costa Rica, I'm on my way. Central America, I'm on my way. Tomorrow, Limon Province, Costa Rica, 4 p.m. American Africans, 4 p.m. Feel free to pull up. Caribbean Africans, feel free to pull up. Somebody said Kamala Harris don't even have a. Somebody said Kamala Harris don't even have no political positions on her website. They said Kamala Harris don't even have any political positions on the website. They said Kamala Harris don't even list what she stands for on the website. They said black folks is so brainwashed into identity politics. They said black folks are so brainwashed into identity politics. They said black folks are so brainwashed into identity politics. You don't need to tell them what you're gonna do for them because we never do nothing for them. Just tell them you're black and they should vote. Just tell them you're black and they should vote. You don't even have to give black people a platform, just be black. Just be black. Those emotional religious Negroes, they don't know their left hand from their right hand. Just tell them you're black and vote for me. I think D.L. Hughley, wasn't D.L. Hughley on that same Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley stuff? Well, they said D.L. Hughley, I think they said D.L. Hughley was trying to hold her accountable at first and then his fraternity had to put him in check. Is that true, brothers and sisters? Somebody said D.L. Hughley tried to hold Kamala Harris accountable and then his black Greek fraternity chin checked him. And they said D.L. Hughley tried to stand tall, but then the black Greek fraternity bourgeoisie had to put him in his place.